Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, we're out here on Lake Palestine. We're gonna be doing some pre-spawn crappie fishing. So I'm gonna have some tips, uh, possibly some tricks in here, and uh, we're gonna try to get on these guys. I went up this morning up into uh, the, the very north end of the lake and uh, did not see much of all, much of anything. There were some roaming fish here and there, but that was about it. So uh, I'm moving on back out of here to the river channel. Uh, I'm gonna get in about 15, 18 foot deep and uh, fish that. They weren't in 10 foot, so try to get up here because I know they're moving in. So anyway, y'all stay tuned and uh, let's try to get on some fish, guys. You know, I like to start every show with a prayer, so uh, let's uh, do a quick prayer, guys. Lord God, we thank you for today. We thank you for, uh, for loving us, Lord God. We thank you for your promises. I want to pray for everybody watching right now that you will uh, help them in their individual lives, Lord God, with whatever issues they have. Um, pray that you will um, provide healing for members of my family, Lord God, that are needing it right now, and, um, and my friends as well. We love you, Lord. Pray that you'll uh, keep us safe out here today. And it's in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, let's do some fishing. This morning, we're going to be using the ACC crappie sticks. I'm using the 12-foot. Uh, just want to be able to get down vertical drop in front of them. Uh, water temperature right now is surprisingly 50 degrees. We've had a bunch of 20-something degree weather uh, these past few days. Uh, well, actually, the past week. The last couple days have been warm. So uh, it's getting warm in here. So these fish, if they're not here now, they should be already there's guys right over there fishing a the bank i'm going to be fishing for uh the spawning females the ones that are waiting to go in so about 10 to 12 foot of water That's what we're looking at they may not be this far up yet i don't know we're going to find out but let's get to it all right once again i had some camera issues and i didn't get all the video i needed to but uh, i got enough to accomplish the mission along with pictures in this location right here i was in the the extreme north uh, area of fishing uh, about 10 to 12 foot of water and there was just nothing there i packed up put my boat back on the trailer went around to the other side of the lake and hit the other northern half and caught a few fish there then I went down to a different location but guys y'all stay tuned because there are going to be some great tips great tricks on how to find these pre-spawn and spawning crappie hope you guys enjoy and let me know in the comments what you think so one of the things that i hear a lot of times is uh, especially down here in in this part of Texas, uh, like Lake Palestine is a north-south lake, and I hear all the time, oh, the fish are moving north, the fish are moving north. Uh, they always move north, and you know, that's not the case. I just want to kind of bring that out. Um, a lot of boat, a lot of boats, I'm looking at a boat over there, a lot of uh, lakes are north-south lakes or northeast, you know, southwest kind of deal, and you know, the, the, the lakes or the uh, fish do move, move north. Lake Palestine is a prime example. Where I'm fishing here is about 18 foot of water and it gets shallower as it gets into the Natchez River or Kickapoo Creek. Um, and you know, those fish will be up in there at some point soon. They're not there now, uh, or they, they were, they moved out. Um, but fish don't just move north. So what you need to do is look for shallow areas, any part of the lake, north, south, east, or west. Um, one of my friends, prime example, one of my friends has been catching crappie down by the dam uh, right here in Lake Palestine at uh, two foot of water. And then once our cold front came through last week, they moved out. But they're gonna look for shallow water. They're gonna look for the warmer weather, warmer water. What do I mean by warmer water? Obviously warmer water, but how do you determine where that's gonna be? If you look at a map, look at the sunrise, sunset, uh, figure out what part of the lake's gonna get the most sun. Um, that's gonna be the part where the fish are, um, are probably gonna be first quite honestly. Right. So that's the first tip that I have. 
uh, look for the shallow water, look for the creek beds, because they're going to use those creeks as highways. Uh, just to kind of give you a good example, like when I travel to Tennessee, for instance, I'm going, um, I'm going to find a location where I can stop, take a nap, uh, then get up and keep moving on the major highways. This right here, I'm in a river channel. This is the highway for those crappie. They're going to get in the deeper water. Um, that's usually where the shad are and they're going to move. Eventually they'll start spreading out, taking those little side roads. But right now they're on the main highways. Uh, you got trees located in here and those are going to be just kind of like a, uh, a holiday inn. They're going to swim for a while, feed, then they're going to stop, take a nap and not really, but you know what I mean. They're going to take a nap on these trees and uh, they'll, they'll just be stacked on these trees and all of a sudden you'll see them move off. They'll swim up north or to the shallow water south. Anyway, so yeah, that's what they're doing. They're, they're looking for that shallower water, looking for the, the, they're following the shad in, the shad are coming in the spawn. Um, black crop are gonna spawn first. Uh, that's just the way it is. They, I don't know why they spawn before everything else does. And then the white crop will follow right behind. Look at that, break away. I love this, hit a tree, just move back, lock it back in place. Beat down outdoors, baby. Can't beat a beat down. The next thing is you need to find out what kind of fish you're gonna target. So we're gonna go for the males. The, the, usually the males are smaller. They're gonna be on the beds. They'll spend a lot of time in the shallow water uh, making beds, protecting their, their eggs till the fry hatch, which is around six to seven days. Um, or do you wanna get the big females? Um, personally for me, I want the big females. Now you will have some big males as well, but for the most part, your females are gonna be the bigger fish. Um, those things are going to be staging out 10 to 12 foot of water and usually hanging in around six to eight feet on a tree and they're just going to sit out there they're going to feed they're going to have a buffet uh, just like a, a bunch of people going to golden corral for instance they're going to sit there and eat those shad are coming through they're snatching them off the tree limbs um, so that will be during the spawn itself it's not quite where we're at now i don't think we're going to find out on here yeah, we'll throw some more some more stuff out here in a minute. Y'all stay tuned. So here's another tip. Go ahead and, like I said, you know, take a look at your uh, maps. Take a look at water temperature. Um, have an idea where you want to start. Well, I want to start. Actually, I want to start a different place. Got out there and and uh, they were not there at all. Uh, figured we come up to this location. I caught one. I'm working my way back out to deeper water. I'm now in 19 and a half feet deep almost 20 foot and I've caught my first fish. So I'm working my way back out toward deeper water, kind of see where they are. Um, you know, we do have a very high or warm surface temperature. It's 52 now, almost 53, but the down, the uh, depth is definitely gonna be colder. So um, I think they're, they kind of moved out during our, all our cold weather. I think they're kind of staging somewhere up in here. That's what I'm gonna do is just kind of go through here and look for them. See what I can do about finding. I'm well, going to show you guys a couple of videos that um, I took that have no audio to them, uh, which is my camera issues that I had. Let's talk about what we discussed today. First thing is, do not eliminate the east, the west, and the south when it comes to crappie spawn. Uh, the north in, in many lakes, as it is here in Texas, that's where the river comes in, usually in the north side. So that's usually a lot shallower, deeper toward the dam. That's the way this one is. That's the way most of our East Texas lakes are. But there is shallow water and you catch spawning crappie all the way around it. You just have to find the spawn depths. The second thing is to go ahead and follow the creeks when you're looking at a map. Look at a map of the lake and determine which, where those highways are. Where, uh, especially if you have a lake like this one with standing timber, look at those hotels. Look at those brush piles that you know are marked. Uh, there, these fish are going to take the creek beds up, and that's their highway. And then they'll start getting on the county roads, going off to the sides in the shallower water. And lastly, determine which kind of fish you, you're looking for. Are you looking for males or are you looking for females? Uh, if you're looking mainly for the females, that's where you're going to be looking in the 10 to 12 foot staging areas. So you need to have a, a pretty good area that's shallow. Uh, they're going to be in there staging on those trees, feeding up, or brush piles feeding up and get ready to spawn. So uh, males will be on the bank. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It did not come out the way I expected it to, but I think we got some good content and some great tips uh, out there. So if you guys will implement this, let me know in the comments what you think. 
uh, if you're doing some of these things and there's, you know, there's other tips, obviously, let me know. Put them in the comments, guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you all on the next episode.